Hi all, we welcome you to this engaging temporal versus spatial summation video. This video will explore the two main types of summation in neuroscience. We will discuss their working process along with their differences. So, let's get started. What is summation? Before we dive into the differences between temporal and spatial summation, let's first define what summation is. Summation is the process by which the signals generated by multiple neurons are combined to produce an output signal that can be used to trigger an action potential in a target neuron. There are two main types of summation, temporal and spatial. Temporal summation. Temporal summation occurs when a single neuron fires multiple action potentials rapidly. As a result, it causes the target neuron to reach its firing threshold and generate an action potential. In other words, Temporal summation involves the accumulation of signals over time. Spatial summation Spatial summation, on the other hand, occurs when multiple neurons fire simultaneously. Here, the signals combine to reach the target neuron's firing threshold. Spatial summation involves the accumulation of signals across space rather than time. S differences between temporal and spatial summation Let's explain it with an example. Example on temporal summation Try tapping your finger lightly on your desk. In the beginning, you might not feel anything. But if you tap your finger repeatedly, you'll eventually start to feel a sensation. It is just the fact that the signals are accumulating over time. As a result, it leads to a stronger overall signal. Example on spatial summation Using the finger tapping example again, imagine that instead of tapping your finger repeatedly, you have a group of friends tap their fingers simultaneously on the desk. The combined force of all their taps would be much stronger than a single tap. As a result, it leads to a sensation much sooner. Conclusion In conclusion, temporal and spatial summation are two important types of summation in neuroscience. It is true that both involve the combination of signals from multiple neurons but they differ with respect to how the signals are accumulated and the types of neurons involved. Thank you for watching. Please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.